this should be a dandy. Got Gremlin State. Going against Fam. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herb Street and Lee Corso. HBCUs. We're still feeling the heat and we'll continue to do so throughout the night as we get set for Gotta the Bradley State HBCUs. Tigers and the Florida A&M Rattlers. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. Yeah, versus Sweat. And here come the Rattlers. The Tigers should have their way with this team. Kirby, why don't you tell us about their star? Grambling State comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame, we're going to blow him out, Hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. Hey, 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 who do you think I'm picking? Tigers all the way. That's who I'm taking. <laughs> okay. Let's send it down to our head referee for today's game and the coin toss. The state is in the slot. I just wanted to double check. I had to make sure. All right. So we're going to kick the ball off first. Florida A&M lines up to kick, up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Let's we'll see if we can do what we need to do. He kicks it. Short kick. Jack takes it to 21. A little juke. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. All right, let's hold it down, fam. We know that this quarterback's the star of this offense. So how do you think this defense is going to stop him today? If this team wants to stop him, they're going to have to send a lot of guys after him. This defensive line is going to have trouble getting to the quarterback if they only rush four. And when this kid has time to throw, ah, ah, watch out. You're right, Coach. But keep this in mind, when they blitz, those receivers are on the outside, one-on-one -on -one in man coverage. And if there's any mismatch, you know this quarterback will find it. We're going to have to play a lot of zone. Our, sus our secondary is very, very suspect. From their own 41-yard line, second and 10. Uh, let's see that cover shot. The Tiger set up in the gun. Yeah. Rolling out to the left side. Throws to the middle. Good job, Incomplete good job, pass. good job. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. That'll make it third down. Third it's third and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Let's go. Number Got seven. Got some spies going on this quarterback just in case he tried to take off. He's looking to pass. Number seven lets it fly, and this one falls incomplete. Well, he oh, certainly had. Man. He just overthrew him that time. That yeah, pass right there. Man. Good play call. We got Eight lucky. Pass. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Didn't get all of that one. Beach takes it to 32. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Kirk, you never listen to me. I've been telling you about that awesome team speed all day long. Start to get you to and start to They'll start this drive at the 37-yard line. Gives it up the gut. And down uh -huh. he goes at the 40-yard line. We'll take that. Our line. Gets three yards on the carry. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 40. Second down. Hmm. Might not work. Going with the shotgun here. Chester will hand it off. Carter good brings run. him down yeah, at run. the 46. So the draw play to the fullback gets them six yards. It's all about making it manageable. It's third down. Uh, 
Third and short, they gave up. Jack brings him down for a loss. <sighs> My wide receiver did halfback. not block at all right there. Bro, what are you doing? So play field position. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Spivey is the deep man awaiting the return. He gets it away. Spivey takes it to 16. Oh. Point, across midfield at the point at the 30 to the 20 to the 10 touchdown Tigers How about wow. that Lee Corso? like I said all week long don't be surprised if this kid runs one back and what does he do run one back that wasn't all him Caught though so what happened to the coverage on that play that's what I want to know here's Caught a try slipping. for the extra point He splits the uprights with the extra point. With about three minutes to play remaining here in the first quarter, our score, Grambling, seven, Florida A&M, nothing. Special teams. Grambling State gets set to kick this one away. Beach and Van back ready to return. He sends it downfield. Van fields it at the 11, makes a move. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe you know, need to get out there and show what you're made out. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. The, 26 yard line. First and 10. the Rattlers come out showing three wide. First down, look at the throw. Slings it right, has it to the seat. Yeah, there we go. Great play to keep his feet in and get the first down. It takes tremendous concentration and field awareness to make a play like that. And the quarterback put it in a place where only his receiver could catch it. Nice throw. Carter with the tackle at the 45-yard line. They get three yards on the play. Florida A&M comes out in the shotgun. Chester drops to throw. Throwing left. Ah. It falls incomplete. The gunslinger couldn't hit his receiver on that pass. I wonder Sorry. why. Could it have been because it was thrown in the next county? Third down, seven yards to go. Chester with three wide receivers. He drops back. Looks. Throws to the middle. Wow. Picked off. Can't wrap him up. That interception will be credited to the Didn't linebacker. Even see the linebacker. Way to come right down there. with that football. That was not an easy play to make. Well, that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. That's, that's, that's a heck of a disguise of a coverage right there. Let's go D. Get it back. Excellent field position to start the drive. Number seven is back in the gun. Over the middle. And it's incomplete. The ball is roughly separated from the receiver by the defender. And that's the way you play defense. Rough and tough with no apologies. Second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Tigers set up in the gun. He throws left. Complete. What a catch. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a no, great read, saw the open back. receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good looking play. Without without getting burnt, bro. They line up at the 28. Should First down. Been, the defense sets up in the nickel. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. They can't connect. Incomplete. Roll. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. The Tigers line up with three wide. He's looking for his man. Catches it. Gets past the tackler. They'll bring him down at the 27. That'll be a pickup of a yard. They line up at the 27. 
It's third and nine. The Rattlers line up with six defensive backs. Down the middle. Oh, my God! Oh, really? man on the run. They convert on third and long, guys. Wow. So the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing that. on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice they did not play. Give me, oh, man, they jinxed me right there. I pressed triangle to pick that up. in off. the red zone. Man, come on. Wow. Come on, defense. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. First down, look at the throw. Guns it to the end zone. And it pays off. Touchdown. How'd you like that touchdown pass, Coach? Boy, I liked it. I also like the way this guy has the presence to stick with the play and then find the open receiver. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. That was a straight up pick. And he converts the extra point. Less than two to go in our first quarter of play. The score, Grambling, 14. Florida AM, nothing. Unbelievable. Grambling State ready to kick this one off. Beach and Van back to return. Short kickoff. Van fields it at the 11. He jukes him. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. Who's going to win this time? They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. Take over at the 29-yard line. First and 10. Yeah. White 33. Like He'll throw on first down. He's looking. He guns it left side. Bro. He sailed that one high. That's not a bad incompletion because he saw the blitz coming and just got rid of the ball to avoid losing yardage. It's second down and 10 to go. The Rattlers are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Chester with three wide receivers. Chester on the option left side. He spins. Young tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. We're in some trouble here, fellas. Third Come on down, now. 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 27. I feel like our best is against the wall. They line up in the shotgun. Chester back to throw. Looking over the middle. He's got very his good. Tight end. Very good. Tackle very good. Very good. We needed that. I like that play call. Anytime you can get a first down on third and long, it time. keeps take your defense time. off the field and gives you an opportunity to get more points. Yeah, this worked to perfection. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this play again later in the game. The Rattler come out in the ace formation. He had every last pound of that big frame heading toward the ball carrier. Yeah, it can't feel too good taking hits from that guy. He's as big as you and me combined, Kirk. And faster, too. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 39. The Rattlers line up with a single set back to you. Chester drops back. Rolls to the right. Feeling the pressure. Complete. Brought down at the 40-yard line. That last pass got him only a yard. They'll line it up again on third down. Florida A&M comes to the line with three wide. He's looking to pass. Chester zips it, and he went way up, and he's got the interception. And the defense just picked up their second interception of the half. These guys have showed up to play today, Coach. Yeah, they really seem to have this quarterback figured out. He hasn't been too successful today. Not at all. Let's go, defense. First down. First and ten. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He looks. He unloads it. Got it to the senior. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, it was man-to-man -man defense, and it looked like the receiver just beat the cover man for the first down. First, first down. 
The Tigers line up with three wide. Looking, throwing left, and it falls incomplete. Woo! He just missed a wide open man. Yep, they really blew a great opportunity there. Second and ten, ball on the 32. Grambling State lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. He passes it, catches it. Good job. Good Beach job. Good takes job. him down for a loss. They lose four there. From the 36 yard line. Hold tight, it's defense. Third down. Hold tight. The defense is playing the pass on this one. He drops back. He steps up. Looks across the middle. Oh my God. And he brings it down. The Jesus 10. Christ, and man. he will score. He hauled in the long pass for the touchdown. This receiver is big time, big play. If this were baseball, he'd back clean up because he's the biggest home run threat they got. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Grambling, 21, Florida A&M, nothing. Grambling State gets set to kick this one away. And this one's a short kick. Van fields it at the 13, and now the ball is loose. You gotta be kidding me. On the loose ball. Oh my God. And a big change in momentum right here, Kirk. And you know what? When the other offense takes the field, I say they go for the home run on the very first play. I like your thinking, Kirk. They always say a defense is most vulnerable after a turnover. That's right, Coach. If I were calling the shots, that's what I would do. We've got a first and 10. Yeah, ball on the 25 yard line. Right now. Come on, defense. Grambling State yeah, comes to the line with three wide. Up. First down, look at the throw. Throws it, got it to the senior. And they make the stop at the 14. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass on. Well, when you're trying to I'm get to the quarterback with the blitz, time, you better have some talented corners. He's, he's because they could end up on an island out there all alone. He is freaking eating me up, man. They're inside the 20. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. It is he throws. There we go. It falls Put some heat on this dude, Pressure man. that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Put some heat on this guy, man. Getting smacked on that one. Let's go. From the 14-yard line. I know my secondary is not the best, but we got to put some pressure on this guy, man. Go On the ground with the tailback. He's taken down at the two-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. First down and goal to go. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. They spread out the defense here. Man, I like this call. Spreading out the defense near the goal line. Come on, good come call. On. He's looking to pass. Throw! This one is incomplete. Too tall for his intended target, and that should have been six. Yep, he had his man wide open, but his arm didn't do what his brain told him to do. It's second and goal. Ball on the two. Grambling State will line up in a jumbo set here. They go with the run. Tackle made at the one-yard line. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. Hold tight, Dean. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. Just hold tight. Just hold tight, fellas. They line up a few feet from the goal line. Third down and goal to go. Makes the moves. Touchdown, Grambling State. And they just keep on scoring. It's just ridiculous how this offense is making everything look so easy out there. You know what's scary is we're not even at halftime yet. Needed something positive, man. We just got to get on the board. And just, State, ready to kick and just this get one rolling, off. man. We just got to get rolling, fellas. That's all. Kicks it away. Football. Beach fields it at the 18. 
There we go. At the 40. Across midfield. There we go. At the 40. Lost the ball. Fumble. You got to be Number kidding me. Oh, oh my God. And, and so they'll turn the ball over on the fumble. Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do a good job of protecting the ball. This defense took advantage of it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, man. Come on. Unbelievable. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. And he tackles them hard at the 34. Couldn't get anything out of that. Second and 10. Ball on the 34. Florida A&M lines up with five defensive backs. Yuku sheds that one. He breaks the second tackle. Wow. Warner brings him down. This dude's Michael Vick or something. Come on, man. They line up at the 43. Third and one coming up on this play. Y'all got no help now. No help. Don't give me y'all no help. He steps up, throws it deep downfield. Oh, got it. To the 20, to the 10. And he's in there. Touchdown. He grabbed that one for his second touchdown of the half. And that second touchdown pass was just as pretty as the first one. This guy's good. Here's the try for the extra point. You mean tell me nobody could get could get home right there on the play action when the linebacks are blitzing? Come on, man. And he converts the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score. Grambling, 34. Florida AM, nothing. Grambling State lines up for the kickoff. Beach and Van back deep to return. And it's a short kickoff. Van fields it at the 13. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You're getting excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. All right. The ball carrier. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. All right. Gains about five yards on the run. Second down. He's taken down at the 45. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. From the 45-yard line, first down. Chester, back in the gun, gives it off. Has some daylight. Sheds a tackler. Oh, to he might 20, go. To the 10. There we go. Touchdown. There we go. The halfback got the carry and weave through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off for six. Game been cheating me all game long, man. Good move, boy. Mm, get off of me. We're going to make a comeback, man. I believe it, man. We, we've been cheated Here's the, the kicking whole team to entire try the extra point. game. We've been cheated the whole entire game, man. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is... Grambling, 34. Florida A&M, 7. Florida A&M gets set to kick this one away. Jack and Pivey deep to return. Here's the kick. Pivey takes it to 23. Step through the air on that last drive as they move it down the field for the touchdown. Still some man Prince right They'll here. They'll set up shot at the 48-yard line. I'm gonna have to give these guys uh, the Tigers are lining up with three receivers. Safety, safety help. He delivers complete. 
They'll bring him down at the 46. Grambling State will take their first time out of the half. I need my D-line to come through with. Come on, D-line. It's second and eight. The line is making some adjustments. I need a ball back. Let's go. Back up, back up. Direct snap to the back. Ah. Little shake and bake move. God dang it. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. Another touchdown. Why not? This just goes to show you that there is more to playing defense than emotion. If you can't continuously play out of position like this, you're going to find yourself in a lot of mismatches. And today, those mismatches have turned into touchdowns. He makes the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Grambling, 41, Florida A&M, 7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Short kick, he didn't get a hold of that one. Van takes it at the 16, he pins. The coach was not happy with his defensive line on the last drive, as this offense seemingly ran all over them. Yeah, this offensive line has been opening up holes that even you, coach, could run through. You're not kidding, Kurt. They've been dominating up front. They'll go to work the at, the at the 28. Yard line. Chester lines up with the shotgun. They'll run the option. He breaks free. Shifty move there at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Kirk, that was his second touchdown of the day. What else can we expect from him? Well, I bet on at least a couple more touchdowns for starters. He looks like he's really come to play here in the first half. They line up for the extra point. And he converts the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score. Grambling, 41. Florida A&M, 14. Florida A&M is lining up to kick this one off. Jack and Pivey set to return. And this one's a short kick. Pivey fields it at the 17. He sheds it. Hardly tough sledding for this offense that last drive as they took it in for six. Now look no further than the guys up front. They created some huge holes to run through. The offense will take over at the 32. The defense sets up in the dime. He looks to throw on first down. With the throw. Catches it. Beats gotta have with that. the tackle at the 40-yard line. Gotta have that. that one worked pretty well. And it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He's created good separation from the defense. I'll put you in position right there. You got the to make the play, man. We've got a second and two. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Looks to pass. Flips it short, and it's oh, incomplete. Sorry, sorry, he made sorry. the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down and two to go. Broke away from one. Tackled for a loss. The, time the Rattlers call a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. We have been getting cheated all game long. Two fumbles. Here comes the punter looking to boot this At one worst, away. This game should be 27-14. At worst. Spear is waiting for the snap. It's away. Short punt. Beat fields it at the 40. That last drive resulted in a touchdown, mainly because of the running game. And with that success running the football, I'm looking for play action then right over the top for six. They'll start at the 40. Florida AM lines up with three receivers. Chester looking to throw on first down. They'll make the sack. Chester looks to be a little slow getting up. I hope he doesn't have a concussion. 
He really took a hard shot there. All right, I don't know how my backup right. can do They line up at the 27. Well, we, we might got play a second it safe and long. They line up in the shotgun. Battle, back to pass. Surveys the field. He lets it go. The senior makes the catch. So the defense kept everything in front of them on that play. They didn't pick up much on that play, but if they keep That's dumping fine. it off like that, the safeties are going to have to creep up. When you force the safeties to play shallow, it opens up a whole other passing game. That's when you hit them with the home run. He's changing things up. Battle, back to pass. He's looking. Let's it fly. Caught. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. Grambling State will use their final timeout. Go for it here. The Rattler come out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Look. Battle. Zips it. And that one's incomplete. They'll turn the ball over on down. Questionable play calling there by the coaching staff. It's way too early in the game to be going for it on fourth down. I would have punted the ball in that situation. They'll set up shot at the 44. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He looks to throw on first down. And they try to set up a screen. Johnson takes him down for a loss. We played a half of football here, and our score is Grambling 41. Florida. Grambling State is lining up to get their second half started. Kicks off. Come on. Come on, Van. Van fields it at the 11. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. So my backup is uh, This drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Rattler set up in the gun. Battle, running the option with the spin. A little juke, and he's hit Ooh. hard at the 25. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call, only because they lost yardage. Okay. I'll tell you, I've seen Look plays like right this there. where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee, you can never tell. Battle Red is back 24. in the gun. Set. Red 24. Hot. Battle drops the throw. He throws it. Incomplete pass. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. They'll line up at the 25. Third and 10. Going with the shotgun here. Blue 19. Block 85. Cut. He drops back, surveys the field, he passes it, and he brings it down. Drop down at the 45-yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Battle comes to the line with three wide. He's looking. Throwing left. In the air. It's intercepted. He baited me. Kirk, any thoughts on why they've had such an off day? Well, oh, it's been all about making mental mistakes out there, and that he interception was another perfect example. Yeah, he sure did. And I don't know why. He's a look how he squatted and then he came back up. Ah! I thought he was gonna play the flats. But there was nobody out there to threaten him. Mm. It's not good. 
They'll go to work at the 31. Start the drive at the 31 yard line. First and 10. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He's going right. We're in the Catches world. At the 40. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for him, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns. And he hits the PAT. Over four minutes remaining here in the third quarter. And the score, Grambling, 48, Florida A&M, 14. Manuel gets set to kick this one away. He sends it downfield. Beach takes it at the 12. Beach lost the ball. And they fall on the loose ball. And they recover their own fumble. I'm going to tell you something. This guy has got to do a better job of protecting the football the next time he gets it. The offense will start at the 26-yard line. Start the drive at the 26-yard line. First and 10. The Rattlers come out showing three wide. Looking. Rifles it over the middle. Picked off. Get past the tackler. And they come up with a big play there, don't they, guys? Oh, man. Defense Six looks turnovers. very well we'll coached on that. Who do we else do we got back there? He's got a probably done lost his... Uh... ready for football but uh this is a great place to start to drive on the opponent's the side of the 50. First and ten. Pitch is back. Wow. He jukes. And he's all the way down to the three yard line. Tremendous run right there. And coaches just love it when they can run the football like that. It opens up so much more of your offense. And we take a quick look at the stats from inside the 20-yard line. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. Experience is everything. Big dog, big dog. Back to pass. Throws it. Someone got a hand on it. Boy, that was a good defensive effort there. The ball was there, but the defender beat the receiver to it. I nice can't get play. Picked. That'll make it second down. I can't get one to save my They're life. at the three. It's second and goal. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. <laughs> Setting up the play action. Touchdown, Grambling State. And some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. First and foul. Walking the pass. Up. That brings it to the goal. will be enforced on the turn. All right. So we're going to exit out of this game. Right. We're just going to concede a defeat.
everybody, this is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The stars are out, but it'll probably still feel like midday because the heat is unrelenting for this game between the Florida A&M Rattlers and the Alcorn State Brave. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Braves. The Braves have a slight edge in this one, but Kirk, I think anybody can win. What are your thoughts? Alcorn State has a big advantage on the offensive side of the football, and that's their quarterback. The thing that I've noticed about him that makes him so special is his composure on the field. He's the reason they win this game big. Yo, Kirk, you stole my pick. Alcorn State is going to win this football game. <laughs> this game just wouldn't be the same without you, Coach. Let's go down for the coin toss. Alcorn State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And it's a short kickoff. Beach fields it at the 24. There's a player injured down on the field. I can't see who it is. Guys, this quarterback's expected by most people to lead this team to victory today. What do you think it's going to take for him to be successful? Well, we've seen time and time again that this guy can move the ball up the field and get the job done. I think as long as he gets good protection from his line and his receivers do a good job of getting open, then he's going to have a great game. I'm right there with you on that one, sir. Gives it to the back. This is what you call a run blitz. The key is quickly penetrate and disrupt the running back, not allowing him to follow his blockers. Here the defense does a good job and comes up with a nice stop. So it's second and ten. Our line is the single setback. Chester back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And he's got him on the fly. He's all alone. To the 20. To the 10. And they're in. Touchdown. He hauled in the long pass for the touchdown. This receiver is big time, big play. This for baseball, he's back cleanup because he's the biggest home run threat they got. They'll line up for the extra point. We needed that. We needed that. And he adds the extra point. A lot of game left. Four minutes remaining in the quarter. And our score, Florida A&M, seven. Alcorn State, nothing. Taylor is lined up to kick this one off. And this one's a short kick. Number 32 fields it at the 13. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. This drive will start at the 31-yard line. First and 10. Alcorn State comes to the line with three wide. Bozeman drops back on first down. It falls incomplete. He overshot his target there. One of the things that is important here is that they come up with the blitz and don't give the quarterback enough space to throw the football. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Alcorn State lines up with three receivers. will hand it off. And he's tackled at the 37-yard line. Cooper gets six yards on the play. That'll bring up third down. Third and four. He's going to try to go heavy on line. Line. They come out in a goal line set. Come on, bro. I am not confused. Setting up the play action. He lets it go. Catches it. Ah. And he's all the way down to the 37. I knew the play action was coming. That's how you get a first down. Go to it they took a risk and went for the long ball. And boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. Hey. 
We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. The D-line moves to the inside. Bozeman zips it into coverage, and the defense has it. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. Y'all boys playing good football right now. Let's keep it going. They'll get the ball here at the 31. Let me see what's going to make sure I'm on, I'm on the right side. with a carry. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Nothing going on that one. They line up at the 31. It's second down. Chester set to go to the air. Throw short. It's complete. They pick up two on the pass play. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 33. Chester lines up in the shotgun. Chester drops back to pass. Hooking. Chester is going to be sacked for a loss. Wow, he just went boom right down. Mm, that doesn't sound very good. Especially when it's your quarterback who goes boom. The Rattlers line up the punt. Filler will be the return man. He gets it away. Spiller fields it at the 46. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 47. Alcorn State comes out with five receivers. He's looking for his man. He overthrew the receiver. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. They come out with three wide receivers. He's looking. He guns it to the right. Way to look it in. Looks like someone was called for holding. Be holding. Holding. On the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still he looked like he had hand. a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding, but hey, you can't do that. Second they line up at the ball. 37. Ball Second the down. Yard line. Florida a and has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. Bozeman delivers. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance, and getting in the way of that pass. The boys are playing motivated out here. Inspired football. Let's see. From their own 37-yard line. Passing situation here on third and long. The defense is in the nickel. Back up, back up, back up. Bozeman back to throw under pressure, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. The fifth year senior at linebacker drops the quarterback to the ground for a sack. You gotta love a kid with this kind of mentality on defense. He's just so tough out there. And I remember when they were recruiting him years ago, they almost stuck him at fullback. Well, it was obviously a good decision to make him a linebacker. Alcorn State lining up the punt. Sutton is back awaiting the punt. He punts it. Sutton fields it for 39. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. The offense looked a bit out of sync on that last possession, Coach. And it was the defense that threw them out of sync, Kirk. Those guys are fired up. Let's see if they can hold them again. Three wideouts here. Our line. Up the gut. 
And he's taken down at the 46. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. It's first down. Ace backfield. Arline lines up as a single back. Chester still has it. Let's it go. Mill with the interception. He's got some blockers at the point. And that tackle's going to save him six. And credit the safety with that last interception. He knew exactly where the quarterback was going with the football. It's not always about athletic ability. You've got to be a smart player not, and know what's okay. going on out there. And that comes from breaking down film of the opposing offense and paying attention all week in practice. This safety was ready for today's game. First down. The Braves line up with five receivers. Bozeman drops back. He lets it go. Catches it. Johnson with a takedown at the 26. The wideout made a good looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Second, and one. Second down and around one to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. Cooper alone in the backfield. Bozeman goes with a play fake. Throws. His receiver has it. Touchdown, Brave. Guys, how fast is this kid? Well, it's pretty simple. You can see it right there. Nobody on the field can stay on this field. I don't think anybody in the country can keep up with this guy. He's out there playing. Catch me if you can. He makes the PAT. With just over a minute to go in the first quarter, the score is Alcorn State, 7. Florida A&M, 7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Van takes it to 23. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. And now you'll find out how much space they got this kid. Do they run the football or they let her rip? Florida AM goes with the ace set here. Brown brings him down at the 36. Our line picks up two yards with a carry. From their own 36 yard line. It's second down. Chester comes to the line with three wide. Chester on the option. And they make the stop at the 36 yard line. They line up at the 36. Third down, eight yards to go. Florida a and comes out in the shotgun. Chester, back to throw. Looks across the middle. What? Incomplete. Oh, my God, bro. Was the intended target, and that'll make it fourth down. Florida a and lining up the punt. Number 49 awaits the snap. Punts the ball away. Spiller fields it at the 26. Down the sideline. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Elkhorn State. What a huge return. Did you see how he accelerated through that hole? And once he hit the open field, it was just pure speed. Yeah, talking to this coach, this is the player that he was afraid of for all the reasons you mentioned. Speed and acceleration. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Alcorn State, 14. Florida AM, 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And this one's a short kick. Johnson takes it to 21. Well, the offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive. Let's see if they can do a little bit better here. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Rattlers are lining up with three receivers. Our line on the inside handoff. Our line gains about a yard on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second down. Ball on the 
Chester lines up in the shotgun. Chester steps back to pass. Throws a bullet. He's on the run. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 49-yard line. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. First down, 10 to go. Alcorn State brings in their nickel package. He'll get it again. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Our line gains around three yards on the run. Second down and seven. Ball right around midfield. Florida A&M lines up with a shotgun set. He looks. Chester guns it. Batted ball. Great defensive play by the cornerback. They line up at the 48. It's third down. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Chester set to go to the air. Looking. Slings it. And he's got him on the fly. To the 20. To the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. But he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. So with just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter, the score, Florida A&M, 14, Alcorn State, 14. Florida A&M is ready to kick it away. Kicks off. Q takes it to the 16. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. They'll go to work at the 33-yard line. At the 33-yard line. First and 10. The defense is in the nickel. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short. The defender had it and then dropped it. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. It sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Right, That'll bring up second down. The they line up at the 33. Second and 10. Bozeman with the give. Brought down at the 39-yard line. They call his number, and he carries for six yards. They line up at the 39. Third down and four coming up on this one. They line up in an eye. Bozeman hands it off. He's taken down at the 43 yard line. Solid play by the defense, and that's going to bring up fourth down. That wasn't a bad game there, but getting first downs are way more important than your rushing average. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Sutton is back deep to return. Buckley punts it and he didn't get much distance on it. Sutton fields it at the 37. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. This drive will start at the 37. Florida A&M comes out in the shotgun. Chester, back to pass. Chester rifles it. It's complete. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. They come out with three wide receivers. Chester running the option. 
Tackle made at the 37-yard line. The halfback option gets him 10 yards down the field. Good job, good job. It's second down. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Rattlers set up in the gun. Chester on the option right. Can't wrap him up. Brought down at the 30-yard line. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well-executed option play. The blocking was there. The quarterback made the correct decision right, to keep it himself and get the first down. The We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Florida A&M comes to the line with three wide. Looking. Good protection. He gives a pump fake. He gets rid of this one. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30. Three wide outs here. And down he goes at the 25 yard line. A pickup of five. They'll line up at the 25. Third and five situation. They'll work from the shotgun. Chester drops the throw. He's looking. Steps up. Slips it short. They can't connect. Incomplete. Woo! He just missed a wide open man. Yep. They really blew a great opportunity there. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. This will be about a 42-yarder. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. It's up. Well, they tried for three, but they came up empty-handed. Uh. The offense will start at the 25-yard line. The Braves have five receivers on this play. Bozeman back to throw. He passes it. And it's a true freshman. He's taken down at the 35. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Alcorn State lines up with three receivers. Bozeman delivers. Oh, so close to breaking it. That one worked pretty well. It's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Alcorn State lines up in a bunch formation. Looks across the middle. This one is incomplete. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Bozeman steps back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. He's got a man open deep. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. He's on a different level than everybody else, though. And he sure is, my friend. This kid is a real deep threat. He can stretch the defense and cause a lot of problems for the secondary. And here's the Pontiac game-changing performance. What's this? A blown cover. Like that. They'll line up for the point after. He's supposed to have over-top help. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Alcorn State, 21, Florida A&M, 14. Alcorn State lines up for the kickoff. And it's off. Johnson fields it at the 24. 
Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. Hand off up the middle. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. Our line probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. First and ten. Ball on the 44. The Rattlers come out showing three wide. Chester on first down. He rifles it to the left. It's tipped. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. That'll make it second down. It's second and ten. The Rattlers set up in the gun. They'll run the option. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. They line up at the 47. It's third and seven. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Chester drops back. He passes it. Incomplete pass. Hall was the intended target on the play. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The Rattlers line up with four wideouts. Alcorn State lines up with five defensive backs. He drops back. Looks. Rolling out to the right side. He pump fakes. He decides to run with it. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. First, First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31. The Rattler set up in the gun. Chester on play action. He looks. He lets it go. Got it to the senior. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. He grabbed that one for his second touchdown of the half. And that second touchdown pass was just as pretty as the first one. This guy's good. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Florida A&M, 21. Alcorn State, 21. Florida A&M is lining up to kick this one off. Number 32, and Hughes back to return. He sends it downfield. Hughes fields it for 17. He jukes. At the 40, across midfield, and he is gone. To the 20, to the 10. They return it all the way for the touchdown. A spectacular showcase of skills there, guys. Ah, no question. That was one of the most amazing returns I've seen in a long time. What was special about this, Coach, is the fact that he made some nice moves early, and then once he got to the open, you saw his ability to outrun the coverage. And he tacks on the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Alcorn State, 28. Florida a and 21. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And this one's away. Sutton fields it at the 27. Spin move. Campbell is walking off the field now. The trainers are going to have a close look at him. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. They'll, They'll go to work at the 34. First the Rattlers changing their play at the line. Chester looking to throw on first down. Surveys the field. Throws it deep downfield. And that one's oh. falling incomplete. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kurt, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. It's second down and 10 to go. 
Ball on the 34-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Chester drops back to pass. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Great play. That's how you make someone drop the footballs. Let them know you're there, and then, wow, put your pads on them. That's the way you make it hard to catch the ball. I will say that. I agree. Third down and ten coming up. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Throws it out there. Wright was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Florida A&M ready to put this one away. Taylor is back to receive. Number 49 punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Taylor signals for a fair catch. We're going to halftime tied up. 28-21, Alcorn 28, FAMU 21. We'll, we'll take it. We played a half of football here, we'll take and it. our score is Alcorn show State 28, Florida a and Gonna get number five. We're gonna make sure we do not and the teams are lined up to start any the second opportunity half. to uh, to return the kick. I'm just gonna push this baby up, man, because it's a high short kick. Williams fields it at the 35. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 45. First and 10. Cooper lines up as a single back. Bozeman back to pass. He unloads it. Complete. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. Well, coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 48. Cooper is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Fakes to the back. Once and all, going deep. Incomplete. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. Here's a third and three. Ball on the 48-yard line. Alcorn State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Steps up in the pocket. The ball is tipped. That's a fantastic defensive effort. Yeah, the deflection prevented them from getting any yards. And now it's fourth down. So they're set to punt this one away. Buckley is waiting for the snap. Hangs it up high. And they'll down it at the 10-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 10. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Chester with three wide receivers. Chester to the air on first down. Let's it fly. Taylor with a takedown at the 17-yard line. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. Three wideouts here. Chester running the option. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. Our line gains about two yards on the run. Third and one. The Rattlers come out in the ace formation. The Rattlers take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining.
We've got third down and one. Ball on the 19-yard line. Florida A&M lines up with three receivers. Chester drops the throw. Looking. Throws. And it's the senior. Great concentration. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. Florida A&M lines up in a shotgun set. On the goose, on the goose. Cut. Looking, he throws right. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. He lost the ball, and they fall on the loose ball. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnover. Chester lines up with the shotgun. The option left. Brown brings him down at the 30. That'll be a gain of three yards. They line up at the 30. It's second down and seven to go. Our line is the single setback. Our line gets the carry. Brought down at the 36-yard line. Our line gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it third down. We've got third down and one. Ball on the 36-yard line. Chester with three wide receivers. And they'll try to get the first through the air. He looks, throws. His receiver has it. They'll bring him down at the 47. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Chester back to throw. He steps up. He zips it out to the left. And this one falls incomplete. Oh, he had his man, too. Yep, he just overthrew him. Next time, he might want to take something off of it. From the 47-yard line, second down. The Rattlers come out in the shotgun. Chester, back to pass. And that one's fallen incomplete. He took his eyes off the ball and dropped it. you got to squeeze that ball, then think about where you're going to go. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Chester comes to the line with three wide. Option. Drives to Juden, and he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. It's first and ten. The Rattlers are lining up with three receivers. Spinning, tackle made at the 31, and he gets a yard on the run. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 31. Florida a and will have one timeout remaining. It's second down. Florida a and comes to the line with three wide. Look at the throw. Looks. He delivers. Finds his receiver. Mill tackles him at the 18-yard line. And, fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. Three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here. And more importantly, they've kept this defense on the field. Chester is back in the gun. He's looking to pass. Looks. End zone. Someone got a hand on it almost picked off. That might be the biggest drop of the game so far. Yeah, he did a heck of a job in coverage. He just didn't finish the playoff. And that's why I guess he's not a wide receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Chester has four receivers lined up here. Chester hands off. And down he goes at the 14-yard line. Our line gains about four yards on the play. That'll make it third down. The 
offense lines up trying to convert on third down here. Chester lines up in the shotgun. Chester back to throw. He's looking. Chester slings it over the middle. And they'll score. The quarterback threw a pretty ball there for the touchdown. But don't forget about the catch. The receiver made one heck of a grab, too. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score, Florida A&M 28, Alcorn State 28. Taylor looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks off. Number 32 fields it at the 13. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. The offense will take over at the 33-yard line. D-line is making some adjustments. Bozeman off the fake. He'll dump it short. That's incomplete. He should have had that one, guys. Well, that's a lack of concentration, don't you think, Coach? Oh, you bet it is, and he'll be reminded of that on the sideline for sure. They line up at the 33. Second down, 10 yards to go. Bozeman drops the throw. He lets it go. Complete to the true freshman. Nice little pitch and catch with a wideout. Quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice, just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Cut. Bozeman to the air on first down. Throws it. It's complete. He's hit and got away. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. They use a 4-4 defense here. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. And so we've reached the end of quarter number three here. With one quarter to go, we're all tied up. Second it's second eight. down. Ball on the 36-yard line. Bozeman comes to the line with three wide. Cut. Bozeman hasn't missed yet. He looks. He's in trouble. He throws it. Oh, what an interception. And he's Pressure, tackled against the 42. That Pressure. interception might be the difference in this game. I think it could Pressure. be, Brad. The game's tied, and now they got the ball. One score is all they need. We need it. Pressure. The pressure made him do it. I don't care how good a quarterback he is. You get some pressure on him, they become average. This drive will start at the 42-yard line. The Rattler come out showing three wide. Chester steps back to pass. He lobs it out to the left side. Caught. Tackle at the 45-yard line. They call a receiver's number on the screen pass, and it results in a new set of downs. Yo, that play caught the defense totally off guard. By the time they realized what was going on, it was too late because the big fellas in the old line were smashing into people downfield. And the D better get ready out there because the last thing you want to see as a coach is your secondary taking off blocks by 300 pounds. Mill brings him down for a loss. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Brad, great effort up front by that defense. They line up at the 47. Second down, about 12 yards to go. The Braves line up with six defensive backs. Chester sets up the play action. Looking. Chester passes. And this one falls incomplete. Wow. You don't get any more open than that. Right now, the quarterback cannot believe he just missed his man. That had big play written all over it. Third down. Yeah. 
The Rattlers line up with three wide. He drops back, rolls to the right. He's going right. He catches another one. There's a fumble. It's picked up by the defense. What a huge time to lose the football. Yeah, you can't cough it up late in a tie ball game like this. If they end up losing because of that fumble, this poor guy is going to be looked at as the GOAT. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. And sports the right time. After this to the goal, first down. I'm gonna have to challenge this. Can I challenge it? Oh, can't challenge it. The offense will start at the 13 yard line. The Braves line up in an I formation. He lets it go, and he's got him on a streak. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Our cameraman didn't even know who had the ball. I'm pretty sure the defense didn't either. The halfback did a heck of a job faking like he was running with the ball. <laughs> they were about to tackle him. Nickel defense. 33-yard line. Back to pass. Surveys the field. Bozeman throws. He snags it, and he's tackled in the open field. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Nice protection, good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. It's first down. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Steps up in the pocket. He passes it. Incomplete pass. He might have been looking to run and didn't secure the ball. Well, sometimes you see young players do this. This is something they have to work very hard to be able to overcome. Second down. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Rattlers bring in the nickel package. Looking to throw. Throws it out there, and they couldn't hook up on that one. It would have been a tough completion here, but it was still a good read by the quarterback. I know there's not a lot to like about an incompletion, but that was a nice job of putting the ball in a spot where only his man could catch it. Either his man was going to catch it, or no one was going to catch it. You're right, it. coach. He didn't move the chains, but he did keep the ball away from those guys in the secondary. The defense comes out in the dime package. Bozeman set to go to the air. It's tip. Good job. Now that's the way to get in there and break up a pass. And more importantly, coach, brings up a fourth down situation. Alcorn State ready to put this one away. Sutton back deep to return. Didn't get all of that one. Fields at the 31. So this offense will take over, looking to take the lead. This has been a great contest from start to finish, Kirk. We couldn't have asked for a better game. Yeah, for those that showed up today, they certainly got their money's worth. The Rattlers line up with three wide. Chester on the option. Dives for extra yardage. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And Kirk, the defense, has to do a lot better job of defending the option. The Rattlers are lining up with three receivers. Chester with the option. They'll get him for a loss. From their own 38 yard line. Second and 12 coming up here. Chester is back in the gun. Chester steps back to pass. Looking, flips it. Got it to the senior. He went by him. At the 40, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown! Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one might be coming back. Here it is. First of all, dropping the pass. Here we go. We'll take that. 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the trial. And
And they line up for the point after. And he converts the extra point. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Florida A&M, 35. Alcorn State, 28. Florida A&M yet set to kick this one away. And this one's a short kick. Q fields at the 17. At the point. Oh, my God. Come on. Not again. To the 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown. And they give up the touchdown. Huh. I'd hate to be going to the sideline and have to face my teammates and the coach after giving up a touchdown like that. He makes the PAT. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Alcorn State, 35, Florida a and 35. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Short kickoff. Van fields it at the 24. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Clipping. 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 On the receiving team. 50 yards from the that one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. They'll start this drive at the 18. They'll work from the shotgun. They'll run the option. Jones brings him down at the 32. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive to see this offense when they're clicking. Chester with three wide receivers. Chester with the draw play. Tackle made at the 37. There's a player injured, but it looks like it's just a stinger. Well, let's hope it's not serious, but his arm's got to be hurting after a shot like that. It's second down. Florida A&M lines up with three receivers. Chester drops the throw. Looking. They brought him down for the sack at the 27. From their own 27-yard line. Third down, 15 to go. Florida AM comes out in the shotgun. Chester back to pass. Looks. He flings it left. Got it to him on the run. Ball's loose. And the defense is on it. Great play by the defender to pick up that ball for the recovery. It was a clutch play as well. Now their team has all the momentum. What a great game. Fourth quarter. All tied up. Does it get any better than this, Kurt? Nope, it really doesn't. These fans are getting their money's worth today, that's for sure. It's first down. The backers kid. make some adjustments. Unbelievable. Bozeman, back to throw. Stepping up, he's looking. Bozeman lets it go. And it falls incomplete. Jackson was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. Second down. Ball on the 36-yard line. Bunch formation. Fakes to the back. He's rolling left. Fires deep down the left side. This one is incomplete. Spiller was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third down. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. 
Bozeman has five receivers lined up here. Bozeman drops back. He looks. He fires. Oh, great catch. And he's tackled at the 18-yard line. Alcorn State will call a timeout. They're threatening inside the 20. They shift on the defensive line. Gives it to the back. And they make the stop at the 16. Alcorn State will have one timeout remaining. It's second and eight. Ball on the 16-yard line. Two tight ends set. Cooper gets it on the inside. And they'll score. Great play, and they should be celebrating. They did just what they had to do. Now they have the lead. It's also a big touchdown because it takes the kicker out of the ball game. A field goal won't cut it anymore. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Alcorn State 42, Florida a and 35. Williams looks ready to kick this one off. And this one's a short kick. Johnson fields it at the 24. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? This is obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. And this is their last opportunity, Cook. If they don't score here, then they can call it a night. Chester comes to the line with three wide. Chester drops back to pass. Gives a little pump fake. Chester lets it fly. The ball is tipped. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. They line up at the 40. Second down and 10 to go. Florida A&M lines up in a shotgun set. Look over the middle. Batted ball. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. So that'll make it third down. Third and 10. Ball on the 40. Going with the shotgun here. Chester back to throw. Looking. Let's it fly. It's deflected. This one will fall incomplete. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going. And I think it's safe to say it didn't get going at all. No one caught a pass on that drive, and that, my friends, deserves a major league yoke. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The Rattlers set up in the gun. Chester needs this pass. Moves up in the pocket, and he's hit as he throws. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll get the ball here at the 40-yard line. We should just see Tough the quarterback to lead right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Tough way to lose. Florida a and takes a timeout. From the 42-yard line, second down. Alcorn State is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. And he takes a knee. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 44. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And that's pretty much going to do it. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. Alcorn State really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2008. But until then, 
Our final score in this one, Alcorn State 42, Florida A&M 35. Well, from our family here at EA Sports, so I want some Lee Corso, Brad Nessler thanking you for playing, and we'll deal, see you next man. time. And uh, at the end of the day, though, number five lit me up. He made just special teams alone. He probably scored two touchdowns, so we gave it everything we got or had, and uh, you know, just came up short. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, it's I don't know what to say. You know, the fumbles, the turnovers at the wrong time, but uh, we try. We try. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and I hope you guys enjoyed some HBCU football. Just wanted to switch it up. Went old school today uh, on the PS2, um, but I was streaming it on my uh, Elgato, and uh, also, uh, if the graphics looks better, it's just because I'm using my Bowers compatible uh, PS3, so hope you guys enjoyed it.